Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is Wayne DeGroote speaking from D-Cubed and DDD.ca. Today's lesson is an intermediate lesson. Intermediate slash advanced. I guess it depends where you're looking at. But we're going to be talking about uh, pens inside of the wall and textures inside of the wall. Okay, to point out what we're talking about here. <coughs> The end result. People tend to like to see the um, the garage walls are light gray, and any other wall that has insulation will have the insulation, just like uh, the shared wall between the house and the garage, and the outside wall. And as you can see, the um, partition walls are also gray and shaded, not solid, solid black, but they're actually a solid gray. All right. I'll show you how to do that. I'm going to be using the Learning Soft Plan Chapter 8 Lesson 1. You can use this with any plan. Uh, so what we're going to do, as you can see, it's white walls, which is very hard to distinguish uh, when it pr prints out. I've had numerous um, compliments when it comes to walls being filled in, so you can really tell the difference between uh, the railing and the wall itself. Um, to the layman, obviously, it's diff really difficult. To f someone who knows what a railing should look like, they should know, but uh, this does take away any of the questions whatsoever. So here's what we do not know. <coughs> what walls are being used? Now, as a defaulted, I'm sure the, the garage wall here should be uh, set to a 2x4. Not to code, but it, this is what uh, Softland has drawn inside their sample drawing. Yes, it is. It's a 2x4 garage. Let's go into definition because you can uh, define the wall now. And I may have to condense this screen a little bit. Let's see if I can do it. I cannot. I didn't think so. Okay. So let's um, look at the wall definition I'm looking at right now is the partition garage. I'll try to, my best to keep it on inside the, inside the screen itself so you can see. I'm going to click on stud insulated. Now stud insulated, insulated the here means this can be insulated for the cross section. Where it will not be um, shown properly is the plan. As you can see in the plan view now, there's nothing. It's hollow because you can separate it. So I'm going to slide this right over to the very end. And I can't see it. <coughs> Sliding over to the very end. Stud insulated um, right now is showing the texture is set to nothing. So I'm going to put a check mark inside the texture. Of course, with that texture, you need that you need to have a texture. So I'm going to click on there, and I'm going to go down this list until I see my bat insulation, which is right there. So, as you can see in my plan view, I now have the bat insulation. All right, since I'm here, I might as well go to the 2x4 brick, because that's what was drawn. And you see the 2x4 brick has insulation, but the plan does not. We are actually still at that location where we actually filled in before. Um, it actually is, um, the slide bar is far over to the right still, so we're actually saved a little bit of time right now. As you can see, the stud insulated right there. I'll click on that so we can see it, highlight it all the way across. Click on texture visible, and I'm going over to the texture itself. It's going to slide open the mirror, the windows there, so, and there we go. Okay, there is other walls that are in here that uh, should be a solid. Um, one, we're going to go with the 2x4 brick garage. The only difference between 2x4 brick and 2x4 brick garage is that this wall here was purposely made for garages, which is what was drawn, which is what you should be drawing it with. All garage walls should be drawn with 2x4 brick or 2x4 siding or 2x4 stucco garage. The keyword, of course, is the garage. So our stud is in, is uh, highlighted right now. Our texture should be visible. What will happen is that you see the little picture here. It is a, a solid stud wall. 
I'm not a huge fan of that, so what I like doing is setting up the pen number 8 to be, it's already solid, and we're going to actually make a gray. I'll slide that in here. So the gray color is going to come out of the wall. Now, unfortunately, this is only for the screen, which makes it look really nice. Unfortunately, it needs to be uh, the pen number must be set. So we'll do that right after we finish off there our, our other wall. So our pen, our texture pen is set to number eight. So kids remember that. As you can see, the plan view is correct. Okay, I'm going to click on the the other wall that is inside the drawing, and that other wall is a two by four partition. So we're going to slide up to there. There's our partition wall. It is hollow right now. Click on the word stud so I can see right or right across there. Um, texture visible is checkmarked. Pen texture is number eight. Solid it is, and the color itself for the screen is brown, but I want to change that to a light gray. Make sure you see that. All right, we have done all the four walls, the 2x4 brick, the 2x4 brick garage, the 2x4 garage partition, and the last one is the 2x4 partition wall. From here, I'm going to click on, and let me slide that over again, because I have not closed down the wall options yet. Um, you could put it inside of, uh, sorry, go into a pen setup. What it will do is it kick up all of the pen settings for the entire drawing. I'm going to click on Configure Pen Styles. Once I click on that, the pen list will come up, labeling from 1 to 16. Ba boom. And move that into place. Number 16 actually is grayed out, but since I've already made my walls, I'm going to click on the black of number 8. And yes, if I change this to red, this red, it will actually do its best to print that out if, if, if it is done in color. So this is where the pens do get colorized when you go to print it in color. So in this case, I just want to change this to a gray. So every time it actually sees a pen number 8, it prints gray. That goes for anything on my drawing now. So I'm going to click on OK, and click on OK here. And we're still inside of our Edit Wall menu, so I'm just going to click on there. Now, <clears throat> sometimes the, the regenerate does not work all the time, but I, what I'll do is I'll just edit that wall right there and I'm sure it's gonna update itself just by hitting OK. Sometimes the control C works wonders, but other times you need to just edit the wall and redo it. As you can see, and let me zoom out a little bit, the walls, the 2x4 walls, are now uh, a nice gray. The house walls are have the bad insulation, the garage has the uh, solid. So everyone should be happy when you go to print this off. If you have any requests on how to do anything inside of SoftPlan, please email me at softplantv at ddd.ca. Uh, thank you very much for watching SoftPlan TV.